Hey guys, uh, out for a short dig today. Um, and I just dug up this coin. It's got a reeded edge. It's bigger than a nickel. It's way heavier than aluminum, so it's not aluminum. I'm thinking it's silver because it's got some shine coming through right there. But it's uh, it does say George on this side, so I'm pretty sure it's a foreign coin. I'm just not sure what kind of foreign coin. There's a lot of really old stuff. This is actually the area that I found the 1773 Virginia half cent in. So uh, there's a lot of old stuff in here, but I might have to get home and see if I can get some of that corrosion off of it and see if I can get any detail, see what it is. But as heavy as it is, I'm thinking it's silver. So that's a good find. Get back to you on the next one. Just saw this uh, porcelain marble laying, or porcelain uh, <laughs> uh, button laying here. And I looked right over here, and look at that. There's a clay marble. It's worn. That's exactly what that is. Clay marble. A little small one. Cool. I'm going to keep uh, eyeballing around here and see what I can find. I uh, just came out of that tunnel and got about a four inch deep signal here, and uh, it was ringing. High 60s, low 70s, so I um, haven't wiped it off yet, but I'm hoping Indian. Definitely a really, really green greeny. Mm. No, I'm just not seeing it yet. I'm thinking Indian. Yeah, it's like the top of the, I don't know. Well, I'm gonna call this one in from right, for right now to get it cleaned up later. Hey everybody, uh, I just flipped this plug out. I was getting a really tight little 8081, 82 signal. Almost bounced up to 83 a few times, but uh, you can see there, there's the top of the grass. There's the coin, so it was almost on edge. I was just catching that little flat of it right there, give me enough of a signal. Down here in this area, it's actually a memorial, wow. I don't know if I've ever got a memorial that deep in here. Uh, it's it's a 60s, so so uh, a little bit older one, but all right. On to the next. Out here on the slopes today with a Tulsa pull tap binder, and we were just talking a while ago about how things will push and wash out of the ground here, and I was just walking along, and that looks like. A uh, Oklahoma tax token. I mean, I know it is. It's a one mil. Well, no, it might be a five. It's heavy. Yep, I can see the five on there. A five mil brass uh, tax token laying around on top of the ground. Didn't even run my coil over it. Get back to you and find something else. Also, pull tab finder just got him a 19, what do you say, 1915? Buffalo. Buff. It's rough, but everything comes rough out of this soil. Yeah. Lucky you got a date on it. The date's about the best looking thing on it. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, man. Thank you.